So last week I decided I'm getting back into a fitness routine. We're getting dedicated. If you missed the last vlog, I kind of go over like my plan. It's pretty vague though, but we're gonna be doing two upper body, two lower body, one cardio focused, but I'm gonna be implementing a little bit of cardio each day as well as abs. I noticed the biggest difference when I do five minutes of abs at the end of each of my workouts. And I'm also gonna be walking more. So I'm either gonna do 10K steps a day or I wanna hit my activity goal on my aura because for some reason on a normal day i would not hit my activity goals because i spend most of my day sitting on my computer so i have to put in effort to move and yeah so basically we're walking more i think that's going to be the biggest difference just pushing myself a little bit harder in the gym actually st sticking to a dedicated workout plan i'm going to be solidifying that this week so we're gonna be doing lower body today. My main thing with this, I just felt like I wanted something to work towards. I need to head out soon though, because I'm gonna be meeting up with Steve and we have some work to do. So we're gonna meet up at a cafe. I need to get this done before I go there. Last time I went to the gym, my headphones were dead. That is the worst. Gotta make sure we have a charge. Just finished my workout. I'm like out of breath. I had to cut it a bit short because Stephen's leaving his house soon and I still need to go home and get ready. So I still feel like I got a good workout in and I'll probably go for a walk later today. I've decided I'm gonna start taking creatine again. I've never been consistent with this, so I can't really say that I've noticed a difference. I'm gonna try that. I'm just making my protein smoothie. I have the recipe for this in the last vlog. Okay guys, I'm with Steven now. We're at a cafe, we're doing some work. We got a lot to Um, I have one, but I don't really use it. Like something that feels like... Ooh. I just got home and we're gonna go for a little walk because you need to go out. I have not hit my activity goal yet for the day. Let's see what we're at. We're 100 away. So I think if I go for maybe like a 20 minute walk, I should hit it. <laughs> Let's see if that walk got us to our goal. I think we'll be closer. I don't know if we actually hit it. It says we walked for 30 minutes, but why are we only, oh, here, okay, never mind. That makes more sense. Alrighty, well, I need to go to the grocery store, so we'll be moving around and we'll definitely hit it by the time we're done. I'm trying to be better with staying hydrated. I find I'm not drinking a ton of water right now, so I just had a glass. I'm gonna have another one. I'm adding in the peak electrolytes. This is too intense. I said I was gonna go to the grocery store, but I sat down on the couch. And if you ever wanna have a productive day, that is the last thing you should do. Um, I sat there for hours. And to be honest, it was somewhat productive because I edited three TikToks that I'm gonna post. I saw something pop up on my For You page about like this guy that I talked to in the past. It'll be live by this time. So if you guys want to see like failed dating story TikToks, I'm posting a bunch because that's like the easiest thing to talk about right now. I don't know. I don't wanna get stuck in a dating niche and I don't wanna be known as the girl that spills her dating life on the internet all the time. But at the same time, that is my life right now. So L'Oreal sent me some product. I think I picked out the wrong shade. This looks too dark. This concealer looks good though. Since I didn't go to the grocery store, I don't really have any food. Like I don't have any protein or meat. I'm just gonna make a little yogurt bowl. I also have this last naan or nan. I still don't know which one is the proper way to say it. I have hummus, but I also might wanna melt cheese onto this. So that's gonna be another part. I like not ideal, but I'm gonna do the grocery shop tomorrow and then we'll get back on the proper meals, but I feel good about everything else that I ate today, so we're okay. Yay, <laughs> yay. We still hit our activity goal for the day. Perfect. It's Tuesday, it's an upper body day today. Like I mentioned, I'm still ironing out the exact workouts and stuff that I'm doing. One of my upper body goals is to one day be able to do a chin up or a pull up. Pretty much every upper body day, I'm using the assisted pull up machine, which I think helps, but I also think it is like slightly different from 
just practicing on like a bar i think it's probably more effective if you're using a band to help you do just like a pull-up or chin up on a regular bar occasionally i see these bands around at the gym but normally I have no, no idea where they are. I'm gonna continue to use the assisted pull-up machine. I think I'm still sitting at around 80 pounds assisting me to get up. So we still have some work to do, but um, that's also doing eight reps times four. I kind of wanna try lower weight now, cause like the lower weight, the harder it is. Cause that's like how much is like helping you. I think I wanna see how low I can go doing just like three reps. So I think we'll try that out today. Since yesterday was cut short, I think I'm gonna do the treadmill for like 30, 40 minutes today. I uh, just do like a little more cardio. Incline walk is usually what I do. And then I also need to go to the grocery store after the gym and now I'm scared to go because I have been blabbing all over the internet. Every single time I talk about a guy online, I feel like they find it somehow. And then I'm mortified and I, I don't wanna see them in real life ever again. So I just like, I don't wanna see this guy. Let's go. You guys remember when I told you about the guy that I met in Toronto? I just posted a TikTok on this. I know, like, I've literally talked about this situation on my YouTube as well, like, as it was happening. I hung out with this guy in Toronto, and then a year later, he DM'd me, totally forgot who I was. Um, and then a couple years later, he matched with me on a dating app and forgot who I was again. I just posted a TikTok about this because he recently popped up on my For You page, and he's apparently dating like a pretty well-known person, like a lot of you would know who this is. One of my friends messaged me and she's like, is it this guy? I'm like, how do you know that from my story? But apparently he's been messaging her and like trying to meet up. <laughs> I'm just like, I mean, it's just funny. Okay, I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. What the fuck you guys? Why do they have cocoa in them now? I, is this like a permanent thing? Oh no. I just picked up a few groceries, but what is going on with these cookies? These are the cookies that I always get, but they added black cacao. What? Let's try it. Is this a new flavor? Did they do this by accident? Like what is happening? It's better not be a replacement. What compelled them to do this? I don't get it. I got to get this bully stick, but she's acting weird. It's yours, you can have it. These chocolate almond bars from Nature's Fair. They're so good. It's some sort of oatmeal baked thing with a layer of almond butter and then a crunchy topping. I got some salmon and some chicken, a sweet potato or a yam. I think this is technically a yam. Red pepper, mango, broccoli. I always just get like very small amounts of everything because it's just me and I usually just make like one meal out of each thing and then I'll like do another grocery shop after. Got an avocado. I think I'm gonna do mango salsa with the salmon and then with the chicken skewers, I have hummus and I'm gonna do roasted yam, broccoli, hummus situation cottage cheese i used to not like cottage cheese but i'm obsessed and really good source of protein these cookies that i don't understand why they have cocoa in them i got these meat sticks and i will not be buying these again i just like i get weirded out by red meat and i'm trying to incorporate it like on occasion but like it just it smells so animal like and like it literally is this is bison it's too like Just it weirds me out. I don't like the taste and I thought these would be high in protein. One stick is only six grams of protein. Like that's not worth it. And it was six dollars for these two. Three dollars for six grams of protein. I don't think so. I will not be buying those again. I get this every time because this is what I use for my lattes, pistachio milk. And that is the little haul for today. It's Wednesday, which means it's a cardio day. I think I'm gonna do some interval sprints on the treadmill. I haven't ran in a really long time, but I wanna get back into it when the weather gets nice. Like running in Vancouver is so nice, like along the seawall. But I'm gonna do 30 to 40 minutes and then I might do a short full body circuit, we'll see. And then abs and stretching. <laughs> Okay, 
just got back. I only drank half of this today. I just didn't really feel like it, but I think I'm gonna pour it out. I said I don't feel good about drinking them very often because they do have sucralose in them, which like I don't love. <laughs> Talk to the blog. Hi. It's actually Tuesday now. This weekend was Easter weekend, so I just decided to take it easy. Like Friday and Monday were both technically holidays. Friday we went for a walk and it was the nicest weather. I was walking around in a t-shirt and it was like sunny and I'm like, oh my gosh, it makes me so excited for summer. We went for a walk, got our 10K steps in. I also had a big family Thanksgiving dinner with turkey and gravy, candied sweet potatoes. Oh, it's, like, it's always so good. On Saturday, I went to a Whitecaps game, which was really fun. I'm trying to think if I have any little updates before we sign out. Um, uh. Based off the comment section in the last vlog, a lot of you guys were rooting for Grocery Store Man and you really wanted me to message him back. This is not the update you were looking for, but... I decided to not message him back because you guys <laughs> the timing of this is crazy so I just finished editing this vlog I'm exporting it getting it ready to post I'm gonna put it live tomorrow but as the vlog is exporting guess who I get a message from I can't why can I not say this without laughing? I literally stopped exporting the file because I need to edit out what I just said and give you guys this update instead. But um, basically what I was going to say is I decided to not reply because... Like, I don't know how to explain this because he might see this. The last message he sent me said you just keep getting hotter. Like, I'm just not sure if that's the vibe that I'm looking for, if you know what I mean. Okay, so he sent me that message like a week ago and I didn't reply, but he just replied and he's asking me out. I know every, I know I'm gonna have opinions in the comments section. I don't know, I don't know. That is the update for that, okay. Thanks for watching, I will see you guys next week with a new video i think we're gonna do high protein breakfast ideas i want to do a few more food videos because those seem to be the most popular and i need to step up my my protein meals again so it's motivation for me as well okay bye guys see you next week <laughs>